Hey folks, this is 2048. I'm going to explain how I'm doing this uh, because I can win most of the time. First off, you pick a corner. Uh, I use a strategy, I, I name all of my strategies for no reason, and I use one called gravity, basically. Like you want to make sure you go down before you go to the right. At least I do. And uh, I never at any point do I stop thinking about what I'm doing while I'm putting together these numbers. 2048 is sort of weird because it seems like it's about addition, but it's not. It's really about the symbols, matching symbols and figuring out what order the symbols go in. The fact that they are numerical just makes it easier for me. A anyway, all right. So, uh, I want the lower numbers or the, the lower rows to be larger than the uppers, and I want the uh, rightmost columns to be larger than the lefters, uh, with a couple of exceptions. Uh, and those exceptions uh, we'll, we'll get into. Occasionally, I'll get into a bit where I have to push left. Whenever possible, only push down and to the right. If you have to push left, make sure there's something blocking the lower the, the lower rows or have a plan God have a plan I see so many of these uh, how to win 2048 where the people don't have a plan they just say well tap left and right a whole bunch no don't do that always be thinking each move always be thinking um, the worst thing that can happen is you cannot go down or to the right if you can't do either of those things, actually, no, that's the second worst. The worst thing that can happen is if you can't go down, right, or left, and you have to push up, then you're really screwed. And I think that happens during this Let's Play. So, let's take a look at this. For the most part, I'm obeying my own rules. With occasionally, uh, occasionally, I'll stop and I'll think, and I'll try to put together an idea. Now. That too, that, that's a troll. That, I love this game, but one of the reasons I love it so much is because it trolls me so often, so I have to think about what I'm doing. Um, uh, also, you may see me do something like, uh, like this, which is really, really stupid. But again, have a plan. I have a saying that I tell myself while I'm playing, and it's don't be afraid of 16s. When you're, when you're playing with these numbers, uh, once they reach 32, that's when it's serious time and you want to try and keep everything to the right and to the uh, bottom as much as possible. But 16s, eh, 16s go away pretty fast. 16s you don't got to worry about. Alright, I was wondering if I was going to slide that over. That would be really bad. Later on, um, you're going to see me really screw up. Oh, that troll engine. All right, I can push that over and down and to the right, and then I get rid of my 16s. And of course, that gives me a 64. Awesome. Um, let's see what else. Let's let's speed this up a little bit until something interesting happens. Okay. Uh, this is a struggle. Uh, I often try to fill up the leftmost bottom row as much as possible, but. I find myself I get blocked off from it a lot. So here, for example, is me trying as much as possible not to make a 64 or a 16, but a 128 because I keep tr getting blocked off. And there we go. And of course, move that right, and now I have a 512. The closer you get to uh, 1024, uh, the second to last symbol you want to make, the closer you get to that symbol, the more dangerous this game becomes because... Um, well, if, if the, if for example, on the bottom right, if you get a two on the bottom right column and the way that we're going, or that bottom right uh, row and column, you, you're screwed. You, you might as well just start over at that point. Um, and most of the time I do, but I'm at this point now where I'm about uh, three out of four games I can win as long as I'm paying attention. If I'm not paying attention, oh, man, it's, it's rough. 
Now i got to get rid of that 16. There we go. 16s go away real fast. You're also going to see me do something where um, I'll have a 2 on the second bottom. <laughs> this, I need to call these things. I need to call these columns something. Um, see how I got that 4 there on the uh, second, uh, second from the bottom row? Uh, if there is a 2 on the second to the bottom row and on the furthest right hand side I always try to make it a four because twos actually are kind of hard to get rid of when they're on the right hand side uh, and the lower they are on the rows that the harder it is to get rid of a two so um, I otherwise I, I just stick to the plan um, this, wow that was a tough call actually um, you know, stick with the plan, just keep the numbers raining down like gravity, and uh, for the most part, it, it, it kind of plays itself as long as you're thinking. Um, another thing you'll see me do occasionally is you'll see me uh, drop a number where, by and large, it shouldn't be there because the, the number system that I already put down, uh-oh, oh, okay, there we go, got rid of the 32, good. Um, and I'll do that because I'm planning to have the number fall further down than that row. Wow, this is sounding really archaic. It, it makes more sense than in, in my head, I guess. And uh, I hope somehow this, this video helps someone win the game. I'm actually making this for my wife because she hasn't won a single game yet. And I, I want to fix that. There we go. Ah, good, we have a four in the corner. Um, alright, let's, let's fast forward this until something interesting happens. Alright, for the most part, nothing, nothing special happens here, except towards the end, you're going to see me employ a different strategy than gravity. Uh, this one I call zigzagging. You're only going to see a glimpse of it. It's basically when things start getting locked up in the bottom two rows. And, uh, instead of doing my normal, uh, my normal everything to the bottom and to the right, I start getting desperate and I start moving the top two rows down to the bottom and to the left instead. The hope is that it will fill out, uh, <laughs> the hope is that I'll, I'll start filling out everything on the leftmost column of the bottom two rows and then start pushing everything down into the right again. Now as you can see we switched over to uh, uh, 1024 land. This is danger town. This is when things start getting difficult and I'm not real sure why technically all I'm doing is the exact same thing as before only it, it shouldn't be harder I'm just missing one space that 1024 in the corner but now um, well now you start real you, you start feeling the stress of the game because if you lose that 1024 if that moves out of the corner in any way, you might as well just start over because there's really unless you're getting very lucky and I do get very lucky in this game but unless you get really lucky uh, push that down there we go because I shouldn't have to worry about those 16 at this point you want to pay very close attention to that bottom row you do not want it to be without something locking it in place. You, you never want to have to slide that 1024 either upwards, God forbid upwards, or leftwards. You always want it locked in and to the right. And now you can start seeing me zigzag a lot more because I'm even more desperate to keep everything um, locked on that bottom row. Uh, for the most part, no no surprises here, you know, just keep things moving down to, oops, uh, okay, that was a mistake with the fours, but I fixed it, but I paid for it with another problem here. You, you can so kind of see me getting nervous. Um, I'm making more mistakes. I'm, I'm screwing up more. Uh, it's turning out okay, but that's only because I, I'm of a mixture of luck and sticking with the plan. For the most part, gravity is what you want to do. You want to keep everything raining down. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up until something happens. 
no surprises here until right now. That two falls into place, and now I cannot tolerate that two being there until I can turn it into a four. Because once a two ends up in that corner, I can't deal with it. That the twos will never go away. Uh, it's got to be it's got to be larger in that particular corner. Fours go away a lot quicker than twos. Um, when that's that's why I keep calling them troll twos. By the way. Because they are. They're just such trolls. Um, yeah, but for the most part, though, look at this. Everything's falling into place. It looks nice, man. All right, let's fast forward again. Okay, everything's going mostly normal, trying to get rid of those troll twos until right about here. Two 16s in the middle make a, thir uh, a 32. And now uh, I'm starting to panic. Because I'm in 1024 land, I'm in the danger zone as it were, I start freaking out a little bit, trying to fill out that 32 as much as possible, and then another troll 2 hits, and then another troll 2 hits, and now I have a 64 in the middle. Because of those two 32s make a 64. Now I'm, I'm, I am freaking out. My only hope is to try and squeeze another 64 on the right hand side of that second to last row and it's uh, those troll twos keep popping up and things are starting to turn into pure chaos so now i figure okay new plan instead of squeezing it on the right hand side i'll squeeze it on the left hand side and then i just lose it <laughs> and this happens i panic uh, this usually does not happen while I'm playing. You can see me trying to, as much as possible to fill in anything I can now, because the only... everything's locked up except for the very top row. Ah, just absolute panic. Look at this. I'm just... oh my god, what's happening in my life? There we go. I got a one... Uh, I got a 128, squeeze it down, get rid of it. But now I have that 32 floating in the middle there, and... It's just, it's because I'm recording, honestly. The recording is making me more nervous because I want to look good for this particular game. But it doesn't happen, as you can clearly see. I'm losing my mind. Uh, gotta get rid of this 32 in the middle somehow, because all it's doing is, is locking up, because it's not going away. This is not how you play. This is, this is how you panic. This is all damage control at this point of the game. So, <laughs> it's a weird mixture at, at this point, and this sometimes happens in the game, but hopefully you won't encounter it like I'm doing right now. This is the point of the game where you just try to mitigate all the damage. You, you try as much as possible to, to make everything fit again. Now, it looks like I'm trying to slide that 64 down into that, this 64 right here at the bottom row. But I'm not. I'm going to try the long plan. I'm going to try and build that right hand 64 into a 512, which is insane. I'm, I'm basically trying to do the end game now. <laughs> All right. So, so, okay. There's no way I could possibly do that. I slide it over enough to get a 128, and now I'm really in trouble because things are just. Ah nasty and now i'm worried about two two different rows the bottom row and the second to last row because i want to keep that 128 over there as much as possible to keep control of the board i i have no idea what i was thinking at this point i just kind of lost my mind uh, whenever this happens i try to breathe and remember the two rules gravity and zigzag uh, I'm kind of doing a mix of both right now. I could get rid of these two 32s into a 64, but I risk a troll 2 showing up on the right-hand side. So now, new plan. Try to squeeze this 128 over. Just find some way to squeeze it over. So now I'm playing zigzag. I'm going the other direction now, which means I need to get rid of that 8 which turns into a 16, which is the worst thing that can happen. So I move the 16 over there, and now I have a 32. So now I have to make this 4 into a 32, and ah, it's all falling apart. Everything is falling apart. The world is crumbling. Stock markets are crashing. You, you know, investors are suffering the choking on the 
vomit of their own mental breakdown. What am I doing? Now there's a 64 in the middle. Uh, how am I going to do this? I've got to somehow create a 256 to slide over into that 512. I'm I'm at a loss. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, I'll slide this 32 down, create another 64. Um, <laughs> the only thing I can tell you now is wait. Have patience at this point in the game because otherwise you will lose your mind you'll want to start making matches that are really bad for you and you can you can make matches that are terrible and you don't want to do that okay we're zigzagging now we're going in the opposite direction but the uh the top two rows are trying to go down and to the left and the reason why i want to do that is because i want to build that 32 into a 64 so that I can slide it downwards and create another 128. There is a plan here, but it's it's rough, and it's the exact opposite of what everybody tells you to do. They tell you to always keep going down and to the right, or you know, pick a couple of directions and do it that way. But this is this is a very different, a little more dangerous strategy. I'm just stopped right here, trying to think of what to do next. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. How am I gonna do it? All right. <laughs> All right. So now we just build this eight into a 64. How hard can it be? Right? Oh, God. Okay, danger. Danger, much danger. We're, we're at the... This, this could be bad. This could be very bad. Okay, now all we need is another 16. Turn that eight into a 16. I need one more four. One more four, and that's going to do it. There we go. We've won. We won. Turn the 16 into 32, 32 into 64, 64 into 128, 28, 512, 1024. Win! Holy crap! <laughs> anyway, I hope this helps someone win the game. But in all honesty, the fun is just trying to, to make it on your own. Don't. Don't ever stop thinking. Don't go on automatic. Stop and think about the game. Plan ahead. It's not as random as it seems. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.